Good morning everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, her name is Brianna, I am Corey. We are Brianna and Corey, and we're <laughs> at Disney World. Oh yeah, oh, what oh, a yeah. welcome. What a good, uh, what a good entry you're you had welcome. there, honey. Well, if you're new, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna, and we are at Disney World today for, well not today, but for the next two days. We are here on Saturday and Sunday. We're doing a little bit of a chill day today at the pool. We've got a Disney date night, mini golf. We're gonna see some fireworks. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow we are going to Typhoon Lagoon, which we are so excited about. So we're gonna just kind of compile this into one Disney World vlog because each individual day we wanna have it a little bit more relaxing. So it will be nice for us to have like a dual kind of like day. Mm -hmm. This intro is getting a little funny, but let's take a nice stroll this morning. We're up really early. We've got our nice little cute, comfy, cozy walking fits on. We're not gonna be powering walking because we have on um, sandals because our feet are breathing from our late night at Animal Kingdom and Animal Kingdom Lodge last night. But we are headed to the Coronado Lake Market because we're actually gonna get breakfast. We never, almost ever eat, breakfast, never eat breakfast at any of the hotels because we're not big breakfast eaters, never but breakfast. get some Mickey waffles, maybe some bacon, and then, yeah, we'll just take you along for the ride. But oh, yeah. welcome to the channel. We're gonna have a great day and uh, let's take a nice little stroll around Coronado. All right, party people, we are officially at breakfast. I got... El Mercado. We are at breakfast at El Mercado, which is uh, Coronado Springs Quick Service. I got the Fiesta breakfast bowl, which comes with eggs, cheese, and scallion. Um, oh, and breakfast potato. Yeah, I am not done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you sounded like you were. You know, she says I can chat, but she wants to chat all the time. So it comes with egg, scallion, bacon, and breakfast potato. Brianna got a mammoth-sized Mickey waffle, some bacon, and a banana, a little OJ, and then we did a refill of the Dizzy Mugs. Yeah, two Powerades, always the Powerade. And I ended up getting the banana on the side because I think what I'm gonna do is cut it up and eat it with the waffle. Oh. Too, like a little bit of banana on my waffle this morning too. I was kind of in the mood, so let's see. I mean, we're not gonna vlog. I mean, obviously everything is probably- We'll vlog really here and there, yeah. yeah. we'll vlog <laughs> here and there at least. Like once we're done, like on a walk with we'll a rating, but yeah, I'm excited because we almost never get to actually eat breakfast in, I almost was gonna say in the main hall, but like in any quick service. I thought you were gonna say in the parks. <laughs> We don't do that either. We're just not like breakfast at Disney people. We just like Instacart a box of cereal and call it a day. But because we're having a rest day, we thought this morning, let's enjoy some breakfast. So yeah, to breakfast. Awfully bright, but we're at the pool and we are not in swim bathing suits. We just came back from breakfast, but. No, we're the weirdos of swimming our clothing. Swimming our clothing. So I thought breakfast was pretty good. Honestly. Yeah. It, it was wasn't just that bad. No, it was just a nice breakfast. I mean, it's quick service breakfast, but it is, what time is it still on your watch? Currently says 10, 11. 10, 11, and the pool opened at 10, and I'll do like a quick pano, but a lot of it's like, not that it's full, but I mean like, it's, I would say pretty packed, so. It's at least 50%. Yeah, at least 50%. Now. So if I were you and you are gonna do a pool day or something, have one parent or one adult just come and grab your chairs in the morning. I also don't think that you should be grabbing 100 chairs. Like, it's only me and Corey, we grab two chairs. We're your a family, believer, yeah. if you're an adult, you get the chair, the child. You like can sit with you. Because yeah. the child is gonna be swimming. And then there's like, you want other adults to also be able to have chairs. Then it's just being considerate. So look at our little chair setup we have. So we ended up picking the end two chairs in the middle row, right in front of the pool here, like the bigger Coronado pool. And then right over there is a little slide. But if I give you a pano, I feel like there's all right here, there's no one yet. So fingers crossed it stays that way. But we've got at least a good amount of people that are here so far. Like I said, it is only 10, 11. So it looks like everyone's getting ready for the day. Corey's got his juice and cup in hand. But one thing I wanted to share is we like to bring our clips to Disney to hold the chair up. And I just feel like it also, I mean like it keeps our chair, you know, from other people taking it. Also my shadow with the camera. Hey, how are you? But we are finished up at the pool. We just ended up getting our thing. We got a nice little table for us. I'm gonna take my bag and now we're gonna head for a beautiful little walk. We are headed to the pool now. We went for a very nice little walk this morning. Filled up our resort mugs. Corey got a nitro cold brew. What'd you think? Oh, it's delightful. From the Barcelona, from like the Barcelona, Barcelona lounge downstairs. It's yep. coffee bar in the morning. And, and then from three to midnight, it's a bar, which is really cool. And they've got little breakfast sandwiches and treats and all that kind of stuff. So we are headed to the pool now for a wonderful little pool day this has been feeling like a true vacation yeah like it's been very nice yeah we slept in this morning had a nice breakfast went for like a big little loop walk around the resort because this resort is really beautiful and so now we're headed to the pool we've got the gopro oh. so we'll take some swimming vids and let's actually see how it works you'll know i won't know now but if the montage is bad and i don't like the gopro footage then you won't see a montage before this but if it is good footage, then you will see it. So 
headed to the pool. Thanks for the heads up. That is the Cancun culotta. Because they didn't have my pina culotta or a regular culotta. And that drink is really delicious. And then what did you get? The La Classica. It's basically a margarita. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to try to take a sip. <laughs> so we're just hanging out. We've got some drinks. I'm reading on my Kindle. Corey's sitting right next to me. And we'll probably eat lunch within the next like 45 minutes. I would yeah. probably say I'll probably be hungry. And this pool is packed today. So I am so, so glad that we came super early. Because if we did not, we would have just missed everything. It is now time for lunch and I ended up going with just the nachos. So it's cheese, sour cream, pico, and guac. And then Corey just did a nice classic chicken Caesar salad. And then we both just got some ice water because we're hot, we're famished, we're in the shade. And now we're having some lunch. Hello everyone. We are showered, refreshed. I feel like the sun, I feel like I should just put my sunglasses on. I saved myself the time and the effort. Of like not putting them on. Of not we being just open that just so I don't have a hand because I'm holding the camera. Okay. Perfect. Okay. They are dirty so I'm going to have to have you clean them after. But we are showered, refreshed, and we're doing our Disney date night. I'm so excited. Now, I feel like that, I, I wanna just preface, the reason why we're calling it a Disney date night is because we're doing dinner at a resort, doing mini golf, and treating it more like locals, like if we were a local, what we would do because we're not going into the park. Yeah. So, I'm very excited, but always we do an outfit of the night, so we're gonna start with Corey first. Bad birdie golf polo. Yep. Drawstring shorts from J. Crew. Crew. Do Stan Smith's Invicta Mickey Mouse watch. Yeah. Magic Band. Magic Band, <laughs> and you're good. Oh, and. His glasses, I can have them linked below. Oh, yes. They're called knockarounds. They're from Amazon. Amazon, $25. Yeah, they're amazing. You've had that same pair, I feel like, for a really long time. Two plus years now? Probably? Yeah, it's yeah. really, really, they're nice. Sunglasses are Amazon. My dress is Abercrombie & Fitch. My bracelets are from Bobble Bar. My shoes are from Gucci. And my bag is Uniqlo. Did I say my earrings, Amazon? So, like, basically all Amazon, Uniqlo, Abercrombie. All right, we've gotten our drinks. We're in on the water, We're sitting at three bridges. I ended up getting a mocktail. It was the lemonade something. Now I don't even remember. I'll put it in like the little screen down below. But it's basically iced tea, lemonade, prickly pear, and something else. And then you got the... I got the bourbon breeze. So bourbon it's bourbon, juice. cranberry, lime juice, and something almost else. Almost identical. Yeah. One's got alcohol and one doesn't. Oh yeah, right. which one has alcohol? <laughs> Cheers to a delicious dinner full of fun appetizers and a beautiful day and an even better night. And I had to say, we're on the water. Oh, cheers and. Yeah, why? <laughs> and we're right on the water. So beautiful, I wanna show you our view. So that's the pool over there. And then as you turn, that is just beautiful. So we're right on the water and doing some dinner. So we decided to do something a little different. We were gonna sit down and do like appetizers and then I don't want to say like real dinner, but actual meals, but we decided instead that the meals were speaking to us in theory, so we decided to do appetizers for dinner. Corey and I love doing this, so we'll, let me show you with you what we got. A smorgasbord of chips. Yeah, literally. So, for starters, we ended up getting, these were what, sesame glazed sesame chicken, glazed wings. chicken wings? And then we also got the warm cheese dips, the Oksana cheese dip with chorizo guacamole and then the street corn so we're gonna give all these a try and we'll give our ratings once we finish we just finished up at three bridges three bridges they also call it like via del lago there's like barely any name i'm going with to three the bridges yeah so three bridges I, I thought it was really good we ended up just doing delicious. the four appetizers which was the corn dip the guac yep the warm like basically chorizo queso yep. and then the wings. the wings i would give the All food them like maybe like Eight out of ten. It was eight good. and a half. I thought yeah. they were very good. I thought the it wings was really were great. Good. Yeah. I thought the queso dip was great. That was my guac favorite. Guac was the delicious guac. Yeah. And I mean, we both love corn. Yeah, I love the street corn dip. The other thing, though, I will say is not that I'm like mad or that I feel like it took away from the entire experience because we've had such a beautiful day, but like, we just waited 25 minutes to get our bill. Oh. And like that was so frustrating and nightmare. annoying. And I'm like, why? Yeah. I don't understand. And there's no so like. Three bridges, get it together because I don't want to wait 25 minutes for my bill. Our server walked now, to like I five tables. Server, yeah. yeah, but our t our server like gave us like came up to our table, asked if we wanted dessert. We said no, so then he was like, "Great, I'll go get the check." Went back, got Rock the check. Back. We paid on the magic band, and then he's like, "Great, just need to get you something so that you can sign." Then he went to 
six tables and did six different things before he brought us the, the check back in 20 it's minutes. Like, it's like and I'm not two. exaggerating, it was actually 20 minutes. Yeah, it's like, dude, come on. Yeah, come on. It's like, it's like I understand you want to get stuff done, but it's like... I don't want to sit there for 25 minutes waiting for a piece of paper. Minutes. And it's like, I don't need you to clear up every table, take orders at every other table that you're at as well. I'm we're waiting for a piece track. of paper. Like, when you're done and you're ready, you're ready. But we're going to go and play some mini golf. We're very excited. So let's go to Winter Summerland Mini Golf Course. morning everyone we never checked back in last no night. we didn't so basically oh also happy sunday i didn't say happy sunday but we ended up last night once we went mini golfing we came back we quickly changed we grabbed our resort mugs we got like nice and comfy cozy and then we actually headed to the poly we got on a bus to epcot yeah. went to the ttc and then headed just right to the poly because we wanted to watch enchantment last night on the Poly Beach. We've never done that before. We had really nothing else to do besides sit at Coronado. So we were like, why don't we do something a little bit more fun? Like we'll try something. So we ended up doing that. It was great. And I just have to say, we watched Enchantment all the way through from start to finish. Didn't nothing. do anything for us. Didn't do anything for me. I'm just so excited for Happily Ever After to come Thank back. God, we're Happily Ever tonight. After people. I'm just very excited about it. I don't think Harmonious was a bad show. It just wasn't a show that got me emotional. Okay, correct. I, it didn't get It me just like wasn't for me. But then we ended up after doing that at the Poly Beach, we like did a little bit of a loop around the monorail, which was really nice. And then we ended up getting on the bus back at Magic Kingdom to head back to Coronado. Played some cards in bed, got some chicken tenders and a cupcake and just hung out and that was our night last night but we woke up bright and early this morning we woke up at around 7 30 because we are going to typhoon lagoon today but we wanted to have breakfast and an enjoyable morning so as much as i was like oh i don't want to get up super early it was it was worth it to it be up at 7 30. Up, yeah. our bags are packed we're ready to go it is what time is it do you have your i was gonna say oh you don't have your watch on today 8.52. So it is 8.52, which is great because we ended up just getting breakfast at the Barcelona Lounge and Bar downstairs. I went with the overnight oats with blueberries and granola. Honestly, probably one of the best overnight oats I've ever had. And then I got the Cinnamon Twist Cold Brew. Looks delicious and very covering fancy. Covering Corey's face. Yeah, covering Corey's face. And then what I did you get? I got the breakfast burrito, which is chorizo, egg, cheese. Was that it? Tomato, something like that. Something like potato. that. And then it came with that. Oh, potato. Fancy. Oh, on potato. There, yes. and, then and then it came with. Cold brew. Oh. Yeah, the nitro cold bar. I'm trying to show the aioli. Is my overnight oats blocking oh, it? Yes. There we go. <laughs> and then it came with a nice little aioli. Too. Did you try the aioli yet? I have not eaten anything. Well, we will check in after, but I've already started eating this. The coffee looks fabulous. I'm going to try it now. It's probably really good as well. And I'm we're just sitting out, enjoying our beautiful, God bless you, little Thank view. You. This morning, Corey is sneezing. And um, yeah, we're having a wonderful morning, and we'll leave in the next 30 minutes and head to Typhoon. Oh, yeah. We've got our Typhoon mugs. We're ready for the day. Got some nice blue Powerade, and now we are gonna hit up some water rides. Oh, we're yeah. taking the GoPro, so let's see how the footage comes out before this, because like I said, we're not gonna know until I plug it into the Mac later on, but <laughs> we're having a wonderful day. Let's enjoy and go on some rides.
so much fun this morning at Typhoon, but let me show you what we got for lunch. Originally, we were not gonna do, sorry, the sun's kinda like in and out, but originally we were not gonna do lunch at Typhoon. We were just gonna like kinda snack and stuff, but. Historically, we've had miserable wait times. Wait times, but because what time is it? We should noon. actually check our phone. It's like it's noon. noon right on the dot. So we get, ended up ordering at like 11.55. That's my recommend, or 11.45. That's my recommendation. Just do an early lunch. Get some of your rides done. Do an early lunch because the lines are not long at all. I will show you what I got, but I am gonna get the nachos later because I was contemplating and then I ended up deciding against it. There's a wave coming. And then I saw a girl get the nachos and I was like, God damn it. I was like, her lunch looks amazing. But let me show you what we got for lunch today. All right, so here we go. Corey got a yingling with the Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon souvenir cup he got the land and sea which is two fish strips and two chicken tenders I got just two regular chicken tenders and then fun little hack when you're walking right outside of Typhoon Tilly's they have these little water cups I just fill them with all of our extra sauces and sides that way it's I carry these two and Corey carries the tray so it's just a lot easier so we're gonna dig in have some lunch and then hit up some more rides so we've got mr. mr. over here hanging out in his umbrella under well under the umbrella and I I'm gonna read for a little bit on my Kindle. It is such a beautiful, amazing, amazing day at Typhoon. I just feel like this is a, like I wanna call it a park and I know what it is, but I feel like this is a park that Corey and I have really just enjoyed and like really fallen in love with over the last like few times that we've been to Disney. This is our, this is our third time at the water park. Once, yes. once for your birthday, once in September, and then once now. We're actually gonna do an entire podcast episode I would say in the next probably month, month and a half on just like all things Typhoon. Food, the umbrella rentals, when to come in, the rides that we ride, all of our thoughts. I think, you know, there's just a lot to talk about at Typhoon and I think people forget about it so often because it can be a little bit of a nightmare to get to. You gotta sometimes have your own towels if you're not staying at a Disney resort. And I think a lot of people just think of, you know, Disney World as, okay, let's go into the parks as many times as possible and call it a day. You know, we've never went to the water park until Corey's birthday and now we try to make it a point on every trip because we love it so much. But it is around one, oh not, no. 1250 you said? 12.53. 12.53, so I'm gonna read for about a half hour on my Kindle. I am really loving my book right now, and we just kinda wanna chill and veg out, then we'll end up probably heading into the wave pool, but spend a little time under the umbrella. The sun's coming out, Corey's relaxing. We've got a nice little setup, and I'm just excited to read. I feel like my brain and my body needs a little rest. Hi, friends. As you can see, we are no longer in Disney, and we're completely clothed. That is because we completely <laughs> forgot to close out this vlog. You know what that reminds me of? Uh, you're probably um, wondering why we're here. And probably, no, it's really probably quite simple. Why we're here. It's, it's really, really quite simple. simple. It began. <laughs> Just with two comment, people. comment the reference down below if you get it. It began with two vloggers. Yeah, if you get it, I will love you forever. But we had such an awesome 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 rest of the day after we sat for a little while we ended up getting some ice cream we went into the wave pool again and we just kind of like relaxed and hung out at typhoon and then we went to dinner mm -hmm. at haleo which was amazing it started off on a sour note though no it did start out super sour so we'll go give a quick little like haleo rating what we ate and then i guess we'll just kind of close out the vlog here yeah. but we ended up going to haleo and i was really in the mood for paella you literally cannot get paella unless you're five people unless and it's 130 dollars, and the pan is and like the pan is literally the size of, a, of someone's ottoman it's it's not huge so we ended up not getting that but we did end up getting a ton of their different tapas so some of the ones that we got was this raw tuna with avocado on top Oh my god. That Stunning. was amazing. Stunning. We ended up getting head on shrimp as well in like it came in a boiling and a garlic butter. Yeah, bo boil boiling situation. gutter gutter. Gutter. Boiling gutter. garlic butter. That was amazing. What else did we get from Haleo? Then we got oh, these chick the um the croquettes, the chicken croquettes. The chicken croquettes. Yep. We had mussels. Mm -hmm. We had um chorizo on a crostini. We had, oh yeah, it was like a spread. They like yes. torched it that you could like spread Fried out Fried eggplant chips. Yep, that was good. The octopus ceviche. Octopus ceviche. I tried it, but I mean, I I'm not an it. octopus. It was so good. Like, I don't like octopus stuff. So so. But Haleo was amazing. It was really kind of hard to vlog in there because we were just getting and so many things loud. at once. It was I would say it was loud as well. It was well. very loud. So originally we were gonna vlog, but it started out on kind of like a sour note for me. So we ended up not vlogging in there, but Haleo reference, like, or like rating, I guess you could say. I'm gonna give Haleo like a nine out of 10. I'm giving it a nine as well. I thought it was spectacular, the food. So, so good. We all have the podcast episode linked below because we did end up just posting the podcast episode on Friday. So we did a lot of a deep dive into Haleo there. So 
if you want to listen to more of like a deep dive into Haleo, you can listen to the podcast episode. But with that being said, I thought everything was so amazing. And the tuna, that was my first time trying raw tuna. And it's like the only thing I've been thinking about so for like five days. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, like, I like want raw tuna. I can't wait to get sushi raw sushi now. for you now. Like I'm so excited because so it was happy. so good. I would say the reason why I knocked a little bit of points was because I do think that you should be able to get paella for two. I agree. I agree. Like I understand, size, I understand, I understand a singular portion. I understand that, but like I don't understand why there's not a portion for two or even three. It's like because I would have gotten a three-person one. Well, me too, because we probably would have like, eaten. That's the thing. It's it like how home. is that not a thing? But you could only get paella, Four and it five. was basically like served five, which it did. I mean, it was huge, and it was hundred and thirty dollars was the cheapest paella. We ended up spending more than that anyway, but it wasn't the price. It was like we want to it's pick on principle. a ton of different <laughs> things. Yeah, so it was just more of the principle, you could say. And I really loved Haleo. I will say I would not go back to Haleo after the water park. Like I wish that oh, we kind Haleo of got strictly a rest day Yeah, restaurant. it's like a little bit of a date night atmosphere or like you I wish that I was a little bit more mm -hmm. Dressed up for it. Like we literally went like mm -hmm. with how we're looking right now. Not that we're looking bad right now I mean, I'm looking I look like I woke up just I didn't like take five a minutes shower ago. this morning, so well, I'm Well, I just wet my hair <laughs> in the sink. So, like, I mean, we're both just... But regardless, I think Haleo is a beautiful place to go. Stunning. And I would recommend it for more of, like, a date night or dress up a little bit because, not for nothing, the food is relatively pricey. Not super pricey, but, you know, you're going to spend $15 per tapas per, you know, meal section. And I wish I would have just, like, felt more elevated paying that much for food. I understand that. You know what I mean? I can understand that. We could have just went to, like chicken guy and got chicken tenders quick after a full day in the sun and so I wish I was a little bit more like dressed up I would say I agree but it was such a fun weekend I mean it feels so funny talking about it in the vlog now because we're like five days removed from the trip I know and it feels so far away but we're really 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 happy that happy we that we went yeah I would say <laughs> I was like what and, are you trying to say well I didn't know either I'll fill it in <laughs> yeah but you know what I was actually going to say I was going to say I'm really really happy about annual passes but that didn't oh, go into it but big news let's talk about annual passes for just a quick five on the podcast on the podcast what what is happening with us today we're so removed from the video us you're yeah. the one you're it's it's a you show here oh well maybe you wanted to just make me feel better that was you too but I guess not so I've been perfection right now <laughs> quick talk about it we got back from our trip and annual passes were came released back. and they came back. So, so you know we're buying April 20th. April, pa April passes. What is... You need like food or something. I don't, what in the... <laughs> anyway, we are going to be buying annual passes. We're so excited about it. We're going to be getting the Increda pass because I think that's the only pass that we can technically buy. But I wouldn't have bought any of the lower passes. Mm -hmm. I don't want blockout dates. I want to go as many times as I want to go. Like I don't want to have to worry about that. So we are so excited to have an annual pass. Very, very happy about it. And I'm just so thankful that they're finally back. Thank God. I mean, really, like, Thank God. it's just been so long. And I even said to you, I fully fledged believe that the minute the 50th is over, that's when they're going to release the mm -hmm. annual passes. Right. I think the 50th needed to be its own thing. They wanted to make money back post COVID. They were doing an, its own individual thing. Disney World was really done up for the 50th. The 50th was its own entity. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that is why they held off on bringing back annual passes. Yeah. The 50th anniversary left on April 1st and it is April 7th. But yesterday on the 6th, it was released that passes came back. So literally six days after the 50th, annual passes came back. Yeah, so excited about so it. So I am so excited about getting an annual pass, but thanks for hanging out with us on our little Disney weekend. If you've enjoyed, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we're going back to Disney in a month. Literally a month, we're going back in May. Go figure. <laughs> yes, we are going from like mid-May from a Thursday to a Tuesday. We're so excited, so those vlogs will be up on the channel in a month or so. And yeah, that's all I've got. I love you guys. Thanks so much love for being too. a part of the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Toodles. Bye.